guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a baby haul of everything that i've ordered um in the last couple weeks for baby boy um we do not have a name yet i think we have a name but i'm still not sure so yeah i'm just gonna go right into the haul um i try to be as minimal as possible um honestly i feel like i did really well considering one we're having a boy two I have had zero baby stuff from um, the beginning because my girls are six, going to be seven. And so um, I just never kept really anything. And obviously so much has changed in six years. So um, that I took that into factor too. But um, I'm gonna start in the like diaper section because that's probably the most biggest part of the haul. Um, we are called diapering and for multiple reasons, one, um, it saves a ton of money and two, it's just much better for the environment. Um, it's better on baby, but ultimately, um, I think it's just better. We will use disposable diapers for like traveling or if he's being babysat or anything like that, I wouldn't put that on anybody else. So I just want to put that out there too. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and start in the diaper area. Um, these are the diapers that I got. I got them all pretty much the same color. Um, these are from, these are the Rumper Roos brand. And these are just the cover. So this is a one size diaper cover. And um, it obviously has tons of buttons and snaps that you can size up or size down. These diapers I got because they hold from um, six to 35 pounds. So I'm assuming baby's gonna be around that because even though when I had the girls, they were only four pounds, but essentially I was carrying eight pounds of baby in me. So um, I am thinking that, you know, I would say this baby at least will be six pounds. So God willing, um, the baby will fit in these. If not, I will probably purchase a few newborn or my friend did offer me to let me borrow her covers, her newborn covers until the baby is big enough to fit in these. But honestly, I think he'll be just fine. Um, so I got a couple, I got three in these gray color. I got three in this blue color. I'm not too fond of this blue color. I think it's a little too bright for me. I was hoping more of like a navy color blue, but um, it works just fine. Um, and then I got two of this really pretty dark like charcoal gray color. And then I got two in this forest green color. This is probably my favorite color. Um, so I got 10 diapers total, diaper covers. Um, so hopefully that should be enough. I plan to wash um, like every other day um, at most. So I do not plan on letting these things sit. Um, I also got some swim diapers for him because he is born in May and we live right across the street from a pool. So my girls will be in the pool and this will be from um, it holds up to, I think like zero to 12 months or something. So these are good for, these are good for a while. Hold on. Nova, out you go. Four. Nova, how is that door not closing? For the diapers themselves, I am using what they call flower sack towels. And what they are is they're just a big sheet of cotton like this it's a big square and these are organic unbleached 100 percent cotton flower sack towels and um the good thing about these is that if i have a little baby or if i have a big baby i can create a diaper that will fit him perfectly so some diapers just don't sit on baby right and so it can get tricky. So there's so many benefits to these, but 
that's why I got them and they're also very inexpensive. So I got each pack I think comes in 10 and I got two packs um, just because I know newborns go through diapers um, a lot in the beginning and I just wanted to be prepared. Also, um, these make great kitchen towels. I mean, these are like kitchen towels. These, you could literally use these for anything. So, um, just very inexpensive, very practical, um, reusable. I just think it was like the best thing for our, for our situation, for our family. So that's that, um, for more of like for the inserts for more absorbency if he's a heavy wetter or anything like that um i got this Oso oh cozy brand these are 100 percent unbleached cotton um doublers so they're just i need to open these anyway to wash them but essentially they're just long pieces of fabric that you can lay in the diaper or the flower sack towel. You can fold them. Um, so I'll probably have to do this for more observancy. I also got these. I probably might have gone a little crazy. I, I don't really know. Um, there's not a lot of people who cloth diaper around me or at least that I know of. So I've been just reaching out to a Facebook group that I'm part of. And there's just so many, there's just so many um, opinions and like people do things so differently. So it's really hard to like figure out exactly what to do. So um, I just kind of ordered what I felt like I would need. Um, also cloth diapers have a great resale value. So as long as you keep them, in good condition, you should be good um, to make some sort of profit off of it when you are finished. But I got these. Um, these are 100% unbleached pure cotton. Um, they're called pre-folds. And so there's a big, there's a thicker fabric in the center and then you can fold it like this for more absorbency. Um, you can also make a diaper out of these as well. So these have so many um, different ways to use them too. They can also be burp rags. You can use them as burp rags, spit up claws, anything. So I got two of the, the size one. So these should fit for seven to 15 pounds. Um, and then I got two of the larger size and these are 15 to 30. So I'll open this just so you can see the difference. So this is a large one, which is extremely large. And compared to this little guy, this is the size difference. So it's much bigger. That is that. Um, wipes. Um, I am choosing not to use disposable wipes. I'm choosing to use reusable wipes. And so I got these. These are the Buttons brand um, flannel baby wipes, 100% cotton. And I got two packs of these. These suckers are extremely soft, like really soft. And um, I'm just gonna make my own spray to use to wipe his little bottom. And then I'll just throw these in with the dirty diapers as well. For the diapers, this is a wet bag. And I purchased two um, like mini stainless steel trash cans, um, one for downstairs and one for upstairs um, to put the diapers in. I figured I'll probably evenly be downstairs and upstairs and I, sorry, and I don't, I don't feel like it would be easy for me just to keep going up and downstairs to put the diapers. Um, unless, you know, I, f I figure it doesn't work out that way. I can always change it, but I got them from Ikea and they come with lids. And so this is the wet bag that I'm using as the liner for the trash can. And you just fold it down. But 
it's just a waterproof bag and you just throw your diapers in there. It also comes with hooks on the side. So if you don't need a trash can, you can just like hang command hooks or something and put these in your laundry room or a bathroom or something like that. Um, it's just really practical. And yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be using to put the diapers in. And then when I'm ready to wash them, you just stick your hand at the bottom like this and kind of push it inside out and then empty all your diapers and wipes and then throw this in the washer as well. So not only does it clean your diapers and wipes, but it also cleans your pail liner as well. So everything just stays cleanly. So that's that. And I got this, I got two of these for the one for the downstairs toilet, one for the upstairs toilet, just to spray out the diapers. I am really adamant on um, trying to keep the diapers as clean as possible and not letting anything sit on them. So I plan to spray as soon as, um, as soon as a diaper change is done, um, at least during the nighttime. I might not, I don't know. We'll see, things might change, but yeah. So I got two of these for the toilet to spray and also they can be used as bidets. So um, just really easy and practical instead of doing like the Duncan Swish, I just don't think I can do that. So for the beginning, I did get a pack of newborn disposable diapers. I got the seventh generation brand. Um, I just feel like until, since I'm so new to this, until I get the hang of it, I'm gonna use these. Since I'm having a boy and I'm not used to that part, <laughs> um, that and with him being, I'm gonna get him circumcised. I just, I want him to be like as comfortable as possible and I don't want him to get irritated by anything. So I think just for the beginning, until I get a routine down, I'm gonna use some disposables like here or there, like in between just until I figure out what works, what doesn't work, things like that. So um, it's weird because with twins, I had to have like a bajillion diapers. And so my mind is like, okay, I need so many diapers, but it's I'm just having one. So I'm trying to like wrap my head around. It's like, Casey, you don't need that much. So that's the diaper part. Um. These are two swaddle blankets that I got. These are by the Mushy brand, and these are 100% organic cotton muslin swaddles. And I just got like this really pretty green color, like sage green, and then this tan color. I think these are adorable. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are so nice. Oh, and big. Woo, these are big. Wow, these are really big. So that's really cool. I got a car seat cover slash nursing cover for me. And I got this really pretty green color and it has little like X's or plus signs. I got this for when he's older. It's a little, um, it's a little Carhartt hat. Um, so obviously he will be born in the summer time, so he won't need this, but when he's, a little older and it's cold out again. Um, this will be so cute. I got two Burt's Bees um, hood and towels. These are 100% organic cotton and I wasn't going to get towels, but I figured it would just be easier to have his own towel. We don't even have a lot of towels anyway. We really only have towels for each of our family members. And then I have a, just a couple for guests. I think I have like three extra towels for guests. So we really don't have that many towels. So I just wanted a towel um, strictly for him. So I also got this sunscreen. I might return this sunscreen and get it somewhere else. I was expecting this to be like a full size bottle when I got it off of Amazon. This is not cheap, but um, I really do like the ingredients. It's um, 100% non-toxic. Um, and it's just a really good sunscreen. A few more things that I got is a Frida Baby thermometer. Um, you can use these three different ways, rectal, oral, or armpit. Um, I have like a forehead one, but I wanted something more accurate, especially for babies. I got this to wash him with, wash his little head, especially if he has cradle cap, which I'm sure he will. 
um, and dry skin, anything like that. I got a um, baby electric nail file set and it comes with a bunch of different heads and um, this will just be a lot easier to trim his nails than using clippers. Um, these I feel like are so controversial because you know when babies are born um, their little nails are so long. I since he's born in summertime I didn't get him like baby socks because he won't need them and what he's going to be coming home in he'll his feet will be covered. So I did not get him any socks um, for when he's a newborn. It just isn't necessary during the season he's born in. But I did get one pair of mittens for him just so he doesn't cut himself. This might be a little extra, but it probably is extra. I did get him a teether. It seems like sooner and sooner these babies just teethe and I wanted to have him something to chew on. So I got him this mushy little bear teething ring. I got him um, little toothbrushes for me so I can start brushing his teeth. Um, these you can just put your finger in and pretty self-explanatory. Um, I did get him a little hairbrush and it comes in this really cute pouch. Um, this is by the Hakka brand, but pretty cute. And um, it comes with this little wooden brush and the bristles on this are so soft, like just so soft. So that'll be nice on its little head. Um, socks. I did get him socks. These are three to 12 months. So um, by winter time, he'll be able to wear these and I just won't have to worry about buying them. Okay, so I guess this goes in with the diaper section, but for um, like diaper rashes or anything like this, I just got this Burt's Bees Healing Ointment. Um, this is obviously for multiple different things, not just a rash, but I thought this would be good to have. Um, also, also coconut oil is a great thing as well, and I will be sure to use that. Um, I do plan to breastfeed, um, but for some reason, if I do end up bottle feeding or anything, I did get a bottle scrubber. Um, and this is cool because it, as you can see, it detaches into a smaller one, so you can clean the nipples out really well. Um, so, and it comes with its own little stand. So I got that. This might be something I don't need, but again, we might, especially if we travel. We do plan on traveling a lot. Um, probably not this year, but as he gets older. I guess it also is a fan too. So that's really cool. I did not know that. Um, but it just hooks onto your car seat. I might not use this and I might just end up giving it to someone else. I did get this. And this is why I'm second guessing that because this I can still take with me. I just need a plug. So it's not like, um, it's not like detrimental having this versus this, but this is not only a sound machine, but it's a nightlight. Um, it's great for when he's a toddler. For breastfeeding, I got the Spectra S1. Um, I, did a lot of reviews and this one was like top rated um, for breast pumps. It is also battery operated. So if I'm out and about and I need to pump in the car, I can take this without having to plug it in and I can pump traveling. So that's really nice. So that's the breast pump we went with. I also got the Hakka. Um, what's different with these than the other one, I'll like put a picture here, um, is that these attach directly to your breast and collect your letdown. So you don't need to hold it, hold, you don't need to hold this while you're nursing. That I thought was really cool. And this is recommended by a friend who is also a lactation consultant. So I went ahead and got that. Um, I also got a nursing bra that will allow me to pump free handedly I also got um, nursing pads, so they just look, comes in this cute little bag, um, but they look like little cotton rounds that you just place in your bra and it catches any leaking that you may have. 
Um, but they're really great because they're reusable, they're wash, they're washable. And so um, this might be extra too. I've heard some people don't leak and some people do. So again, if I don't you know, have a problem leaking, um, then I probably will donate these or give these away as a gift or something like that. But I just wanted to have them just in case. I got this baby monitor. I did not get one with an app. Um, just because of all the things that I've heard about it and I just don't think it's necessary. So um, I got the Infant Optics DXR8. Um, and this was a little more pricier, but I just feel like it's really um, necessary to have. And I did not have a monitor at all with the girls. If I did, I think it was just a voice one. So I just feel more confident, more comfortable having an actual video monitor he doesn't have a crib yet and he won't until he's probably like six months or older um but i did find this really cute mobile it's like airplanes and clouds and my husband's in the air force so it kind of just makes sense so i don't really have a theme for his room but um this could be it i'm not really like i'm not really that kind of like this is his theme and I only get things for his theme. I'm, I'm not like that. So I'm pretty more just like anything that's neutral, I'm good for. So I'll post a picture here of what it actually looks like hanging, but this is um, handmade. It's by an adorable family. And I just thought this was so adorable to have. Um, and I think he will love it. That's it. I'm also going to include a clip of my car seat that I got for the baby and it's downstairs and I don't want to pick it up and bring it out here just to have to carry it back downstairs. So I will include a clip of the car seat we got and why I love it and why I recommend it 100, 1000%. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the car seat that I got and kind of how it works and why I recommend it. Um, it is a little on the pricier side. Um, it's pretty much compared to the Appa Baby car seat. This is the Kleck Ling car seat. Um, this is the infant car seat. It looks like this. Um, it's really small and compact. The car seat, I think itself weighs like eight or nine pounds. So it's not that heavy. Um, this is a Canada made car seat. The base is extremely, not extremely, but it's heavy, um, which is really important. I love everything about this car seat. Um, one, there is a nine year expiration date on this. The cover, it extends super low. So um, the baby is extremely shaded, which is really cool. There's so much cushion for this baby. It's so comfortable. This is just like the cosmetic part of it. The safety part is what really, really is important to me. But the installation and the safety of it is what got me because with the girls, with the car seats they had before, getting them installed was a pain in the butt. Over time, it just got a lot harder and harder to take the car seat out, put the car seat back in, making sure it was tight enough in the vehicle. So this time I really wanted to see if there was a car seat out there that um, would install a lot easier and I found it. So in the base, there are um, these things that attach directly to your seat. And um, you don't need a seatbelt for this. So you take your base and you just attach it directly to the metal prongs in the seat. Um, and, then, and then it's pretty much secure there, but there's another way to make sure that it's extra secure. There is this support bar that can extend and it also um, attaches to the floor of your vehicle for extra support. So you do not need the seatbelt at all. There are ways you can use a seatbelt. This car seat is extremely secure. Um, also, it comes with 
like a leveler, you can adjust the recline and decline of each seat. I got it off Amazon. I was able to save a lot of money um, adding it to my registry and purchasing it from there. I'm so excited and I feel so confident about this. If you guys are interested in this car seat, I will link it down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some really good ideas on what to get if you're having a baby boy or even a baby girl. A lot of these things are baby neutral. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.